Hi Stampers, Jackie Ball Heist from Zealand, Michigan. I am back today with another video in my Design It With DSP series. This month, as you know, we are talking about designer series paper. It's on sale from Stampin' Up! What better time to stock up? So I've been really concentrating on sharing lots of projects with you that show off our gorgeous paper so that you can make your wish list, or I should say want list, and place an order sometime in July so that you can buy three, get one free. So today we are focusing on the tropical escape paper. So let me flip the camera down so I can give you a close up look at the paper and show you our two featured cards of the day. Tropical. This paper just screams tropical to me. I love the colors and believe it or not, there's only three main colors in here. Blushing Bride, Granny Apple Green, and Shaded Spruce. But I absolutely love how they go to go together. And then they threw in these really fun, let's take this one out here, um, all black, black and white prints as well. And I love using black and white. So lots of options with this pack. It is a six by six pack. So you get 12 different um, papers. That means you have 24 different designs and you get four of each one. So let's set that aside and let's take a peek at the cards that I feature today using this. You know, I'm trying to just really focus on letting the designer series paper do the work with some quick and easy cards. But remember, quick and easy does not mean boring. And I don't think these cards are boring. Um, so our first one here, we're using accented blooms as a thank you. Now you've seen me use this one a lot. Um, you know, you look at that stamp set and you just see flowers, but the thank you that is part of that stamp set is awesome for so many different things. Now for this one, I just want to show you a couple of tips for you. Um, first, I want to talk about the subtle embossing folder. I don't know if you can see, oops, I got my little notes on here. Um, the texture, this truly looks like textured cardstock. If you remember back, long time ago, Stampin' Up! had textured cardstock. I used it so much, I think I cried when they got rid of it because it just adds so much more than just, you know, a flat surface on your card. So this is one of the dynamic embossing folders, which means it's thicker. So when you use it, you only use one of the plastic plates. You don't need to use both of them. And I have been doing, and I don't do this with most of the embossing folders. I usually emboss and add it as a layer. Um, but with this one, it works really good to just emboss that front part. So I'll take my card, cut it and score it, and then I stick it in, make sure that the Stampin' Up! logo is up um, for the front of your card, and then put the edge of the folder right up here to where your fold mark is close it up and then run it through the big shot. Super simple. Um, this is definitely gonna be my go-to. I think probably every card you see, if it doesn't have a different embossing folder, it will have this one. So for our card, I've already pre-cut these pieces, but I wanna give you a couple of little, I guess, paper cutting tips or, or how to figure out different sizes. I always like to, well, most times, make sure that the focal point of my card is somewhat symmetrical, meaning I have the same amount of border all the way around it. I think that's what makes your cards look best. Um, so what I did with my piece of designer series paper, in my head, and I hope this makes sense, we know that a card front is four and a quarter by five and a half. So for this piece, that's gonna be the main focal point here. If I always wanna cut it smaller, by the same amount smaller on both sides, okay? The same amount smaller. So this piece, okay, so if we have four and a quarter this way, I'm gonna go three and a quarter. Our card front is five and a half, so I'm gonna go four and a half. So essentially this piece is one inch smaller in both directions. Did you get that? So what I have here is three and a quarter, by four and a half, which is one inch smaller both ways um, than our card front. Now, you don't have to necessarily use those measurements. You can make it a half inch smaller or a quarter inch smaller. A lot of people do quarter inch smaller. So then you would cut it five and a quarter by four, quarter inch smaller on both sides. And that's what will always give you the symmetrical piece. Now my second tip comes from layering. So we've already cut this one and we've determined that it's an inch smaller, right? So it's three and a quarter by four and a half. Well, my layering, I like to layer things 
an eighth of an inch bigger. A lot of people do quarters. Um, I used to do quarters a lot, but now I tend to do eighths. I like the smaller border on there. So to get that, and I know eighths can be confusing. Um, you know, if we know, okay, my cardstock is three and a quarter, what do I cut to go an eighth bigger? Well, you know what? I don't get really hung up on knowing exactly the measurement. So what I simply do is I take my cardstock, I'm gonna go this way, and I go out here to three and a quarter. Okay, hopefully you can see that, which is the exact, that's the size of this layer, three and a quarter. And then I simply move it over to the left an eighth. Now I know on this cutter, it's two tick marks. So I go to three and a quarter and move it over two and I cut it. And then I flip it around this way and I know I'm at four and a half, move it over two tick marks, which is my eighth and cut it. Now I know I have a perfect mat that's an eighth inch bigger than my piece that I cut. So that's how I kind of figure out my measurements. Now for this card, I, you could cut this a little bit smaller and then you know butt these up next to each other but i think it's easier to cut this the size you want it and then just add this little three quarter inch strip on there um, like so so that is a few tips for making this card and we'll open it up and i put usually in the inside my piece is a quarter inch smaller so this is five and a quarter by four i added another three quarter inch strip down here and I stamped these gorgeous words from a stamp set called Friendly Conversation. I thought that was just perfect for a thank you card for you know someone that does something special for you. So there's the first card. The second card using the same um, Tropical Escape designer series paper. I didn't even put the strip down it. I just thought this paper is beautiful on its own. I used the Detail for Love. Um, I really like this oval. I've used this a lot. It cuts out perfectly with your layering oval framelits and you can get the scallop in between. Took a piece of this granny apple ribbon and put it in between as I stuck these two layers together with um, dimensionals. And again, there's your subtles embossing folder and we'll flip it open, same format on the inside as well. So I hope you like these two projects with Tropical Escape Designer Series paper. Make sure to add it onto your list of your Designer Series papers that you're gonna purchase in July because remember, buy three, get a fourth one free. I hope you like these quick and easy cards that feature designer series paper. Um, I didn't make the whole card for you. They're pretty simple cards, but I wanted to share just a few tips that will help you not only make these cards, but in your other stamping as well. So as always, make sure you let me know if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of videos coming your way that are all about quick and easy stamping. And if you want more details, check the description of the video because I've got information there that will lead you to all the details on these cards and where you can purchase these products and take advantage of the Stampin' Up! sale that's going on this month. So until I have another video to share with you and some more stamping fun, have a stamp happy day.